Well, Stuart, you're celebrating your first promotion Woo-hoo! as co-owner of the football club. Uh, uh, how do you sum up the weekend? I, it's it's, un, it's unbelievable. I mean, I just... I've done like so many things, but I've just never gone through anything like that. It would have been just enough as a fan. Uh, and I you know, joked on Twitter, I called my mergers and acquisition advisor at minute 64 and I said, sell my, uh, sell my sp- stock in the club. And the joke was back, nobody wants it, right, at that time. And, and then to just ch- turn around, like that was enough. Like 30 minutes as a, as a posh fan is just a, an incredible experience. It's heartbreaking, it's heart pumping, it's, it's incredible. And then, and then you add on this other piece, like uh, me and my two best business buddies sat down and did a project starting three years ago when some crazy Irishman allowed us to hang out with him. Uh, he was watching a Conor McGregor fight and we were at some terrible, in, in, it was a classic investment banker conference in Vegas. And you know, you think how the three of us have come from there. And it's, uh, yeah, you, you can get pretty emotional about that, right? Because that's, it's, uh, you guys, you guys have all become family. and. Uh, my partners are family and what those players did for us, you know, it's, I, I just, you, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything like it in North America. Like, you know, especially you come on the, on the uh, heels of, you know, Project Big Picture, which I was supportive of because of the money would trickle down to us, but I was never supportive of a breakaway league and that's so North American. And I, I think that, uh, I wish some of the uh, my my compadres from North America trying to pull North American franchise. I wish they could experience what uh, Jason and I just did. Mm. And this is not me crying. My voice is still uh, fornicated uh, from Saturday and Sunday. So I might have been a little noisy. I might have been banging some tables with the lads, and uh, I might have had a Cuban. So the combination has been really bad for my voice four days later, and I'm emotionally spent. I mean, it, it, I suppose when you, when you look at that game, it's kind of encapsulates what you've gone through yeah. as an owner, actually, because yeah. for, for the season to be curtailed last season, you're 3-0 down in a game that you just need a point from. There's half an hour to go in the game. You're probably sitting there, as you say, thinking, what, what, what's going to happen here? Yeah. And then suddenly, like that, emotions can change. And as you say, football is a roller coaster. Football's a roller coaster. You know, listen, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be the first to admit it, but I'll say it anyway. Who would have thought, like if we lost, like a, by a beating, like a, if they'd scored the as 4-1, when we go into Doncaster, our bogey team, like what would have our energy level been back in playoffs? Like I'm thinking another year here, right? We just did COVID, we just got screwed last year. Like we, it's just, yeah, it was so much, like you say, it's crazy. It was, it was, it was just crazy. I mean, obviously, the fans outside. Um, yeah. So they, you guys went out and said thank you to them. Obviously, they, they've been through the, the mill as well. Yeah. And, and I guess from now, you, you're just so excited about the prospect of them coming back in the championship. Yeah. And hey, let's all do this, right? Like we all thought we were coming back at Christmas. You can imagine. I know. I, I know it doesn't get a lot of sympathy, but it's been tough to do ticketing. It's been tough to do broadcast. It's been tough to bring you in. Like. You deserve to be there and see that on Saturday. That was the, I mean, you all have been through this. Um, you know what it would have been like to be there. Uh, you deserve to be there. And uh, we have no idea for any of us what the next six months is going to bring. And we're all going to ride with it. Uh, we'll do it together. We'll try to make the right decisions. They're not always going to be great. But the sooner we can share this with everybody, the better everybody's going to feel. Mm. And I guess, you know, the, the challenge now is finding the right balance, isn't it? Because you, you, you want to you know, sustain your championship football club yeah. and equally you, you're looking at the, the margins and, and making sure that given what we've been through over the last 18 months you know it doesn't go too far the other way well sustainability yeah, I mean you said the word sustain I don't mm. you know that's uh, music to a businessman's ears but um, it's hard isn't it like you know Phil you guys what you've all gone through as staff being furloughed and everyone else in the UK has been furloughed and we're all coming back from it we don't know what it looks like and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was not the most profitable year to be an owner of a football club. That's uh, that's supposed to be funny, um, and yet we're supposed to go figure out what the new world order looks like in a in a new division. Uh, and I was joking with some of our Canadian friends. Uh, I'm just trying to put it in context. What does it mean to go from League One 
uh, to championship and I'm going, well, I'm hanging out with a, you know, a guy who owns an airlines, um, you know, one of the guys who used to own a club, uh, used to own Harrods and, uh, you know, there's Greek shipping magnets and, and they basically, my friends who know me, they go, oh, you're screwed. <laughs> but what I love about the three of us, we just know all the different ways. We don't have to do this by ourselves. We can use, um, we can use finance tools. We can use investments that we know how to do. We, what Dara's done with players over the years, like he got another one this year, didn't he? Um, I had, you know, my quick story is uh, uh, Johnson. He must have known that uh, he wasn't on my list. I was going who? And uh, he came up to me after, and he went, "You didn't think I could do that, did you?" And I said to him. Yeah, uh, I was wrong. He goes, yeah, you were. That was a conversation we had on Saturday. Um, you know, never doubt, never doubt McAnthony on on when Barry. Like, who else, what other trick have they got up their sleeves for next year? So I think I think we're going to make it. I, I literally believe we deserve to be there. We're a good ownership group. We're a great staff. We're a great fan base. We deserve to be here. We don't have to act like outsiders, interlopers, people dressed for the wrong party. We got a ton of ways we're going to stay. And just finally, obviously, you've worked with Darren now for a few years, and he said he was so delighted for you and Jason to yeah. get the first promotion to together under the belt. He's, he's got five now, isn't he? Four, four yeah. here. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's great when you have a good working relationship because that's, yeah. that was key when you came in. Is obviously to forge a relationship almost on the outside of a relationship that's already been built. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he didn't need us. Let's be honest, right? Um, yeah, it's. It was great for him to say that, but I think we always said this when we came here. We're here for, we're, we're gonna be football owners. This thing's gonna be the roller coaster. I cannot forgive myself for almost bailing at 64 minutes. Like this is what we signed up for. And if, if our fate was to be screwed for one more year, to be in League One one more year, to find another way not to go up, then so be it. We weren't going anywhere. So I appreciated him saying it, but we didn't need it. We're here for the long run.